Previously on Outer Wilds. Did I do it? I met a living, well, living in a mine named Solonum at the South Pole. What would happen if a conscious observer were to enter the eye? Has this become our purpose as well? To try to find the eye? I know I still need to visit Feldspar in Dark Bramble. And then when we get into Big Blobby Center, we can look into this tracking module. If you're to observe a quantum object is moving in one predictable path, but if you stop observing it, it moves in waves, right? Alright, after the last episode, I am still at a loss of words. And also, I noticed that the volume balance was a little off. I've been playing another game where I had to increase it and um, might have been a bit unbalanced. And I apologize for that. We still have this. Uh, more to explore here. So I want to go there, I want to do that, and we have to find Feldspar so we know how to get into the center to get to the probe tracking module. And we also have more to explore here. And I went there, recalled the shuttle, I went there, I'd, I think I need to land on the interloper again to try to see if I can find something. Um, so Dark Bramble needs to be a thing, Sunless City needs to be a thing. And then I am super tempted to jump into the reflection of the eye on the moon. So we might go back here and just see what happens. Since when I came back to, because the sun polluted at the same time, um, you could for a brief second see the moon. So my guess is that we would have teleported back to Timber Hearth anyway. And I'm thinking that because the because the moon sort of takes on the traits, um, this um, num, num, solemn lady uh, on the quantum moon's north equator, she said she asked if we were f if I were from another solar system. So it's almost to the point that I'm sitting and thinking that it can jump between solar systems or I don't know I don't know exactly how I want to translate this but I'm thinking that we would end up where the quantum moon is like yeah this is where you belong um which is why this little we could see it we could see the reflection of it sort of Bonk. Also, <laughs> look at this, I have a map. Okay, I'm gonna stop now. I'm gonna stop uh, being funny. We all know that's a lie. We all know that's a lie by now. Can't stop the funny, funny machine. I'm just joking. I'm not very funny. I'm scared. <laughs> It is always, I always think of teeth when I see those. We're gonna try to find or get into this eye shrine. Because it's the ghost matter there, but I am always a bit stressed because of this sand. And the cactuses, of course. <laughs> ha ha! Cactus, ha ha! So I probably missed something. Let's just focus on getting to that shrine. Ow. So this one had... We saw... It, it was Solemn's script there, I think. While we walked up here. Yeah. But I need to look... Because it was... There. Okay. Never mind. It is in here. And uh, there was... Hmm. Nothing there. Okay. Looks like it would be something there, but I don't think I can 
get in there. No. It's like pouring water. Do I have to wait for that? I don't know. No, because then it will cover the entire thing. That's not it. I can't shoot it in here, huh? No. There is a stairs there, and there is this... I could stand outside. Is there anything there I can... It is snaking all over the floor, huh? Oh there, oh there, oh there, oh there! Okay. Don't have to wait for no freaking sand. Thank god. Okay. Oh my goodness. I did it. Oh yeah, I did it. I did it. Be welcome to this place. This shrine is a uh, is a space to reflect on what brought us to this star system, the signal from the eye. Yeah. We observed the eye signal in the uh, in our travels and followed it here to find its source. What we know is this, the source of the signal, which we have chosen to call the Eye of the Universe, is older than the universe itself, the rest we have yet to learn, yeah. Enter and open your mind to these possibilities. Okay, very cool. My mind's open. Wide open. If the Eye called to us, why won't it reveal itself? Why is it so difficult to locate it? Did something happen to it? Did the signal stop? Does the Eye no longer desire to be found? Perhaps this isn't the eye's choice. The eye may not be able to communicate with us more than it already has. Yeah, it is uh, weird, right? In a sense that it just stops sending out anything. Did the eye deliberately call out to us uh, by sending the signal or did we hear the signal by coincidence? Good question. We could be seeing meanings where there is none. Yeah. Suppose the signal was... Uh, produced in incidentally hmm consciously do you think it was a conscious decision by something else does that mean the eye is any less important though perhaps the eye wanted to be found could it be sentient exactly could it be sentient that's what i mean meant um or was it something else that triggered it. Maybe it shows us. I don't think so. Does I desire something from us? Could it need us in a way? <gasps> oh, that's an interesting question. Maybe it doesn't have to... Maybe it doesn't have to be us. Interesting. Is the eye natural or artificial? Maybe someone built it. Exactly, that's what I meant. I mean, I guess I was alluding to it. Uh, that someone triggered the signal maybe uh, the eye is older than the universe itself how could someone something exist before its creator could be a naturally it could be naturally occurring though this doesn't answer how the eye could be as old as it is hmm hello okay Oh, there is something. Can I get through there? Oh, you stopped pouring now, huh? Oh no, you started again. Okay, I think that's what I wanted to discover here. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, I have Sunless City more to explore. I think that was it. I don't think that there is anything else. I have a mist now. I mean, I don't, I don't think so. Obviously, I don't know. That's gonna be that for that cycle. Let's see what we found. Nothing, nothingness, absolute nothingness. <laughs> the I travel to this solar system in pursuit of a signal hmm, from something older than the universe. You have to call it. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. That was that was that. That was it. I'm a little disappointed. Okay, well, next round we're going for Feldspar, I think. Cause um 
Basically, I want to get to the tracking module or to find out how to get to the tracking module. Right? So we need to go Brambley. We need to go Bumble Bumble. This one. Yeah. That's what we need. Oh, and we need to go to the interloper as well. Maybe it's not exactly in the tail, but somewhere around it. And there's Bramble. I don't need to shoot straight into Bramble, okay? Oh, it's so cool. Oh. Hmm. We're going the other way then. Alright, well, have a great time. Ooh, just sort of came into existence. So I could basically maneuver past them, right? I'm sitting and thinking... Because I don't know, but... So, hear me out. I am guessing... That there's different endings to this game. Like, I don't... I don't know. But I'm having now this feeling that... You could play this out differently. Um, I might be completely off. I don't know. But it sort of feels like we could either go for... Or maybe more, I don't know. But you could either go for... Completing what they wanted to do. Which was the eye. Find the eye. Or... I don't know, can you... I don't think you can stop a supernova. Everything here points that... We... Are not gonna be able to stop it. It's naturally dying, this star, right? Let's try this again then, I guess. Where? Where the heck is it? There. Go fast. So tense. Again, in another one? Is it into another one? Yeah, okay. Shit, I'm so tense, my heart is beating. Okay. Please, please, let this be it. No. What? It's a seed. Is that a joke? Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Okay, there. Okay.
my god. You don't need to get stuck on everything. Calm down. Oh my god. Hey, what? Can I go in here, please? I really, really want to go in here with my ship. That's perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to do. Holy crap. We're here. Uh, okay, I didn't think I could be able to do that. I'm so proud of myself. Uh. Hey. Whoa. Where did you come from? N no one has come in here. Well, ever, actually. That makes you the second Harthian to ever reach Dark Bramble. After me, of course. Well done. Say, it's you. They made you an astronaut? And when you haven't blown yourself up yet? Good for you. Faltzbar, you're alive! You never were the brightest hatchling, were you? Yeah, that's right, I'm alive. Been camping out here since my ship, uh, you know, crashed. Violently. You- wait, what? You crashed? But you're the greatest pilot in the- okay, wait, what? Oh, this is a good story! I'd fi just finished exploring the core of Giant's Deep and needed a new challenge and none of us had uh, ever been inside Dark Bramble. So I think, hey, let's give that a try. I've been cruising around for a while, dodging the odd massive interdimensional vine bristling with thorn. When I run into this huge anglerfish, the biggest I've ever seen. I pull a few stunts, try to shake the thing off, nothing too fancy. <laughs> I'm going full speed when the fish clips me, knocks me uh, into the vine and, well, like I said, I crash. Blammo. On impact, my ship starts making noises like it's coming apart from the inside and I think, well, that ain't great. Sure enough, I barely get out of there before the electricity system starts sparkling like crazy. It's uh, either move fast or die unpleasantly, so I had to put a little distance between me and my poor fried ship. I camped out near where I crashed at first. I found the skeleton later. Great find. Would have been stupid not to use it. So I moved my setup over here and planted my emergency tree seeds. Been here ever since. Wow. I can't believe you didn't die. Can't believe you didn't- <laughs> you destroyed your ship. No wonder there's so many stories about you back at home. Wow. Yeah. Pretty much. Anyway, that's how it all went down, Hatchling. Story's over. Ha but feel free to stay and enjoy the fire for a while. Or don't. Fire's not going anywhere. What? Where should I explore here? That's the spirit. Anywhere is good, but you should know uh, that space is that space is weird here. Intensely. Ever tried throwing your scout into one of those weird seeds? See there, uh, with the little opening? It's just big enough to launch one through. Your scout tracker will tell you, this, uh, tell you that your scout is in two places at once, but I don't think that's wrong exactly because space doesn't work right in here. That seed looks small, see? But inside it's bigger. Much bigger. I've had a lot of time to think about this, and my theory is that space in Dark Bramble kind of expands as you go through each sphere. That's why it's bigger inside those seats. Okay. So it's a universe in a universe? Well, that's my theory. Keep that in mind while you explore Dark Bramble and maybe you won't get lost inside forever. Good luck! Uh, you reached the uh, core of Giant Steep. How did you do it? Giant Steep core, huh? Ah, uh, that was a wild one. But since you're asking, I gotta assume you haven't made it down there yourself yet, right? If I tell you how, it kind of feels like cheating. Oh, come on! I went all the way here if I got to 14. Hmm. On a completely unrelated note, that sure was a big haul of wine my ship crashed into. Yep. So there is a, what you're saying, a whirlwind that should be able to take us all the way down. Hollow. Because it's hollow wine. Hollow vine. Don't, not wine, sorry. Vine. Hmm. If I were you, I'd go take a walk and see where it ends. Wait, what? I thought he meant like there's a hollow, hollow space inside one of those whirlwinds that would go all the way down. Hmm. You'll want to go to the tail end 
of this anglerfish skeleton here and look for a flickering light in the fog. That'd be my old ship. Path starts there. Pull up a marshmallow stick. Where is your ship? Not far from here, as a matter of fact. If you go straight past the tail of this anglerfish skeleton here, you'll see a flickering light in the fog. Follow that and you'll find my old ship. What's left of it, anyway? What happened to this anglerfish? Oh, the skeleton? It was like this when I got here. Uh, as near as I can tell, this anglerfish must have been chewing on this vine and eaten a seed. Okay, and then the seed grew and grew and the poor fish stomach until it ha this happened. Gross, huh? The skeleton was a good find. Keeps the fish away. See, they're territorial, so they mostly avoid each other. That's why I set up camp here. Even from skeletons, I guess they're blind. Uh, shouldn't I tell ground control to come get you? Well, yeah, sure. Whenever you have the time. Frankly, I kind of like it out here. Quiet, peaceful ish. You're a little too young to you're a little young to understand, but it's a lot of pressure being the best that ever was. Be nice to have a break. I I hear you. I found something. Lay it on me, hatchling. I found a dark bramble seed on Timber Hearth. That's bad business, hatchling. As shirt will tell you if you shirt. Uh, if you so much as glance at Dark Bramble direction, there used to be a fifth planet where the Bramble is now. Hmm. This infernal planet appeared at, uh, plant appeared at the center and kept growing and growing and growing until it shattered the planet and scattered this piece across, the, across space. A bit like this anglerfish then, I guess. The skeleton we're in. If we don't get that seeds you found sorted real quick like, I suspect Timber Hearth will be heading towards the same fate. And I'll tell you what, we Hearthians have overcome far too much to be done by some worthless seeds. I hear other species died from ghost matter, so you know, calm down. Um, I found on my writing saying anglerfish are blind. Aha! So the blasted things do have a weakness. Meaning my fly as fast as I can approach to, deal, uh, to dealing with them could have used a bit more thought. Uh, thought behind it. Ah well, at least it didn't eat me. Mm, that's the spirits. Uh, all's well that ends well, eh, actually? Mm. Nothing to share with me? Sounds like you better get out there and start exploring. Uh, wow, I don't... Hmm. Did I? Did my... Ship error? This is the sea that's tried to send my scout into. Straight in the fire, huh? Wait, it just... Wait. <laughs> is it just coming the same way? Yeah, it is. This <laughs> is just here. <laughs> that, that is really funny. <laughs> okay, you want me to do this? You're happy with that? Good. That is funny. Okay, um... My ship's there. Like, poor thing. Uh, so there's some that's supposed to be hollow. At the end. What is the tail though? I don't know. Oh. Should I go with the ship or... It did say it was hollow. Where? Like... I thought he said it was... Was it not? Hmm... Dude, I am honestly... scared. 
Not gonna lie. He said at the end at the tail. But it's there, so I don't know. Oh, this is scary, dude. <gasps> there it is. Come on, match it. Is it in here? Is it silly of me to go without the ship now? Sort of feels like it is. Silly to go without the ship. But now that I know that I can, now that now that I know, now that I know that I can, now that I know that I can. Whoa! Wait, where am I? Still says some dark bramble. Whoa, dude! <gasps> Hi! Um... I don't... think I'm supposed to touch you, right? I'll get, uh... Should I touch you or not? I, I sort of want to. Where, where's my stick? <laughs> no? Okay. I can touch it. Do I continue or do I... Should I stay or should... Oh wait, do I have to go into one of those? Huh? Oh, this is creepy. Not the felspar. Do not eat. Do not eat this even if you're dying. It would be too sad if there were the last thing you ever ate in this life. I guess these jellyfish are only useful for insulation from electricity. Again, do not use weights. Oh. Oh, look at that. Huh. Oh, that is super creepy. It's really freaking cool. <laughs> What's down there? Probably death, right? Hello, death! Whoa. Huh. Huh. Okay. I guess I shouldn't question things anymore, right? It's just how it is. Life's all good. Nothing is weird, strange, and uh, they're gonna live a long life. At least for whole 22 minutes over and over again. So I guess that was another seed in a way. That is a cool way to to tell me about that, I guess. Wow. What a tail. That's scary. I don't do we hmm, do we think there's anything more to bonk discover here? Or no? Match, come on. Okay. 
Okay, so what... Uh, okay. Let's read. Let's read. Let's read. Okay, look at that. Oh! Frozen jelly. Feldspar is alive! They crashed their ship and is now camping inside a huge anglifer skeleton. Feldspar doesn't think my scout tracker is wrong when it says my scout is in two places at once. They have a theory that space doesn't work the same inside Dark Bramble. Feldspar doesn't sound overly eager to return to civilization. They've been enjoying their relative, relative peace and quiet. Frozen jellyfish. After taste Tasting the inside of the jellyfish, Feldberg concluded that these jellyfish are only useful for iso isolation, insulation from electricity. Wait, there's more to explore there? Or... Could I go to Big Blue and... Oh, now I don't know. Did I miss something? I don't... I don't think so, honestly. Actually, didn't mean to do that. Come on. Hug me with your wawa. -wa. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> Good. Hmm. Not sure. So now I'm just in. Never-ending space, huh? Interesting. Could we just not repair his ship? No? Probably not. Okay, so... Bonk. No, I didn't want to go there. It's looking like a little butthole. Okay. Just gonna do one last look there then if I fail to find out something more. But there's also this frozen jelly bellyfish on Big Blue. I'm thinking that's where I need to discover more. I think that's what that's referring to, not necessarily this particular particular place. Oh, never mind. I completely ran past this. Trip 4? Entry... I'm gonna say not 1. Crashes 3, boring crashes 0. A personal best. Whoa! Never thought I'd see one of these beasties outside of Giant's Deep. They were awfully useful back there. Maybe a jellyfish could be useful here too. Blech! <laughs> Blech! Uh, this thing tastes ter terrible. The outside is rubbery and tough. Maybe that's because it's it uh, insulates the jellies inside from getting sapped by electricity. Right. I'm going inside of this jellyfish interior cav interior cavity to see if that tastes any better. <laughs> right. So they walked inside. Ah! Oh my god, that's so cute. I want one. We call that a plunta in Swedish. Okay, so I think that was it. I think now we've discovered it. Don't eat the outside, sort of. Yeah, sounds good. I don't think there's anything down there I want to explore. We also learned that they taste bad. Um, so we won't be chomping on them. Oh, don't want to fall. Okay, that's cool. That was well worth that cycle, I feel. Hmm. Eh. Nothingness, huh? 
So... I wonder where this is. Is it just a teleport to... Blue? Is it the... Like, what is it? Why... Why is Bramble a little everywhere? That's a bit also the thing, right? So we have Ghost Matter that just suddenly appear, and we have Black and Dark Bramble that suddenly appear. We have the Eye that sent out signals until a sentient sort of intelligent being came there. Stop! Can't we just fix you now? Hmm. It's it's this place was getting freaking attacked, dude. Like really? How would one get out? Even. I'm just going straight. Oh. This is so scary. Oh, bonk. <laughs> wow, okay, so yeah, it does have an entrance, I guess. Hmm. Wonder if it could teleport us to other places as well. My god. Yeah. You can hear it's here. What's that red? There was a red dot too. There's one. I think that's for sure a fish. So intense. Go away, fish. Go munch on a seed. I don't think it's death, though. You are really something, huh? Concentration is so high. <gasps> oh, Jesus. I don't know. Whoa. Holy crap, that was so scary. I got out, I think. Oh. My heart. Oh my god, my heart. Did you see them? That was cool. My god, man. What are you going? Ship! Stop! <laughs> Bye! Bye, ship! What are you doing? <laughs> okay, I guess you're going there, huh? Just shot, sh just ran away from me. It's like, screw this shit. I don't want to be part of this anymore. I just wanted to go out and repair it. <laughs> oh my goodness, and here we are. Oh, that was funny, and my goodness. Oh, lord. Crazy. That was crazy. My heart's beating. But so... 
could I crawl into a live... Live one of these guys, or what? Hmm, that would be my next question. How would I crawl into one of those? Ah well, next round. Boom. Wow, that looks amazing! Oh, crazy, 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 crazy. Oh, my heart. Oh, look at that. Just saying hi. Okay, bye. Wow. Oh, wait, could we... Yeah, let's do that. Let's go and talk to the guys and say that we found Felspar. That we talked with him. Just because we can? I will bring my suit, though, because it's nice to fly. Let me go! Do you have anything new to say? I found Felspar! You found Felspar? And they're in Dark Bramble? Stars above! This is wonderful news! Thank you! Thank you for finding them! That Felspar didn't... That Felspar didn't um, immediately join you on your ship and return here... Uh, it's incredibly Feldspar of them. Okay, <laughs> cool. <laughs> uh, we were never in, in entirely sure what Feldspar was thinking back then either. Still, we ought to fish them out of that dreadful place with all haste. I'll radio Gossen and have them prepare a ship. I really, it really should be Gossen who brings Feldspar home. Again, thank you. You can hardly imagine how profoundly happy I am to hear that they're alive and unharmed. Okay, that's it. Yeah, to tell Gabro, yeah, well. Should we get up there? Yeah, maybe. Found your mom, she's a bitch. Okay? No, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I didn't see this before, that's so sweet. Ah, just this back there. Cool! I still need to get to the interloper, I think. I mean, I don't know, but I think so. And, um... Hey! Huh? Uh, what do I do now? <laughs> oh no! What have I done? You can't recall the elevator, huh? Oh no, you can. You just look away. It's also another quantum object. Very cool. So... <clears throat> we still have more to explore there. And I think that's just straight on the interloper. Oh, wait. Um, the Ash Twin Project. Yeah, we haven't even gotten in there. Um, but hold up. So we still have the third escape pod inside dark and the vessel as well somewhere in dark bramble doesn't really help me huh so i should actually go back to dark bramble i've been wasting a lot of time this time around though should i maybe just go for the interloper i think so and then bramble again, I guess, but I can't. Maybe the distress signal frequency. Maybe they put out the distress signal. I could find them that way. 
I hate those fishes though, they just kill me instantly if they get me. Don't like it. How's it going, autopilot? How's it going there? Nice, good job. Alright. Yeah, for sure it's easier to use the camera once you know you can actually freaking use it in the right way. Uh, so we saw that the ship was here somewhere. I'm scared. Where is it? Please stop. Stop, 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 stop. It's right there, huh? Yeah, it seems like it. Careful. There it is. wonder if there's something here that I can... Okay, good thing I didn't freaking instantly die here. I'm glad about that. Yeah, there you are. The more to explore. This is troublesome. It seems the comet wishes to submerge our shuttle into ice. Oh. If we stay on the surface too long, the shuttle may uh, freeze entirely. Even if it did, couldn't someone call it back home with the gravity cannon on number twin? Yes, but the exploration of the comet would be more difficult if we were without the shuttle until someone recalled it. Perhaps we shouldn't have landed on the dark side of the comet. Oh. Suppose one of us remain on the shuttle to keep it warm and continue monitoring the surface. This would be wise, I think, Clary. Mm, if you don't mind waiting here with it, Pokey and I can continue to investigate the surface. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I can't get into it when it's like this. Hmm. Alright, I think... I think that was that. I suppose if they would have gone towards the sun, this interloper... The ice would have melted and the ghost matter would have escaped during under the pressure that way. So they froze on the dark side. I wonder if they managed to get out the warning signal. Do you think? I mean, I'm asking you, you probably have already played the game and I'm just going around here making a fool of myself. No, I didn't mean to do that, so calm down. No, no. Hmm. Did we get it? Yes. Uh, the Numai landed on the interloper not long before its... Uh, long after its arrival in the solar system, the shuttle's equipment heard strange energy readings coming from somewhere beneath the surface. There were three Numai aboard the ship. One of them... I mean, sorry, shuttle. One of them stayed behind to keep the shuttle warm, while the other two explored the interloper. Clary, the Numai who stayed behind, lost contact with the other two after descending below the interloper surface. Yeah. Okay, that's good. So now we've... But that's a whole different section. Like, it's not connected to anything. Well, obviously, it's, it's not, but... Still... So, what do we have? We have you... Yeah, we need to go to blue. We also have you guys. Still a lot of things to do, but we're not gonna do it in this cycle for sure. Hmm. What are we thinking now? What are we thinking now? I could just use the last of this time, I guess, and go to Bramble, though you're all the way over there. Or I could go to you. Just realized we have a whole screen on the left side with the title under his damage. 
I initially also thought that we would want to revisit this cannon, but I think we took everything there. Now my question is, could we go to this island where it was frozen? I don't see how that would help. Oh god, this is still looking so amazing. Or can we somehow... Are those... I didn't mean to do that, but I know we're chunky here. We're much a chunky. So... Hmm. Can we... Does it... Do they go back inside? Those... You don't want to? There we go. Okay. So then this will be my question. Will you go back inside? Because you see how that one is just... Electricity. It's just... Yeah. Will you go back inside then later? Or are you just going straight up to the current? Oh, maybe they're bouncing off the current. Do you think? Yeah, I think I think they just might be. see so then you're going back in oh oh my god okay let's do this then oh yeah let me in let me in <laughs> i hit the microphone because i'm scared <laughs> oh my goodness here we are Oh my god. I don't know where we are. I can hear it though. Holy shit! I think we descended. Are we inside? Do I dare to go down now? Are we in? Whoa, dude. Stats, be still, be careful, be careful. Oh wait, there. Okay. How do we get in? How do we get in? Oh my god, this is so cool. Um, where do we get in? There? There maybe? Looks like this would be the obvious uh, entrance, right? No, come on, what? Oh, maybe here. They're like, no, you don't want to go there. Nope. Come on. Match. Alright, 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 alright. Bonk, bonk. Always the bonk. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh. 
I got scared. But I guess I'm here and you're connected with someone, huh? Okay. Yeah, this is just gonna be... The regular one, two, three. Wait, what? You're standing single. There's two. There's four. So it's just one, two, three. I thought it was four. No. Oh, look at me. Oh, wait. Maybe I want to read. Will you bring us anything new? I have exciting news! Station project almost repaired. You received a reference from the orbital. Um. Okay. Here I have exciting news. Privet, the Ash Twin project is almost prepared to receive the probe data from the orbital probe cannon. Rami is adding some finishing touches here, but she'll be finished soon. <laughs> are you and the orbital probe cannon well? We are! The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each launch... Oh, okay. The statue here in the probe tracking module is ready to record each... That's why they did... Oh, okay. Each launch flight trajectory and will automatically transmit all relevant data to you. That's why they said that the last one they received was 10 minutes ago. Was because they were receiving information about shooting out this probe, right? On the other appendage... Uh, I'm now worried about this cannon's structural integrity and his crew's... Mm, Crew's moral integrity. In moral integrity. Once the probe determines the location of the eye of the universe, I'll send an alert directly to you and Rami. Guess it took longer than they, they expected, right? The launch module, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's in pieces. It's in pieces. But also, maybe we can read something new about that. Imagine Privet, the probe tracking module we will be first in. Yeah, yeah. I am honored and terrified. I won't ask you to use so much power where it breaks, will you? Fret not, my friends. Um. Yeah, she would mind. But so you are. Recording all of that, huh? So I guess it ended up not being a single person that got it, but... Ugh, I'm doing the same thing I'm always doing with these. I am in the flow. <laughs> I got this, I got this. Oh. Visualizing current trajectory of probe. Oh my god. 918,091. Okay. Receiving data. Okay. Yeah. Boom. Oh. Oh! That's the eye! They created the eye! They have created the eye! Dude! Dead space anomaly matching all known criteria for the eye of the universe found by pro- Deep space anom anomaly. Matching all known criteria. Total number of probes. Retrieving previous launch data from Ash Twin. Uh -huh. Okay. 
Displaying coordinates for the eye of the universe. Retrieving stored coordinates from Ash Twin. But won't that change every single time? Every time it restarts, won't it change? Or will it always be the same? Is the eye not moving at all? Because from what previous things we could see that it was... It was... Everywhere and nowhere. Right? Huh. I can't believe we had time to do that. I didn't... I didn't think... Come on! Why can't I... Okay, good. I, I don't know if it will be the same. Every single time. I don't think it would be. How would I get out of here now? I'd have to go into one of them again? What is this? Hmm. Huh. It just is, huh? Can I go out without dying or will I have to wait for a ride? <laughs> Nothing. Yeah. <laughs> Can you just go out, do you think? Oh no, is that a friend? I don't think I can just go out. Honestly. Well, there you are, anyway. But you just went out. Am I outside? Ooh, that shit hurt. <laughs> I, got, I got so scared. <laughs> so I tend to get scared, I guess. Oh man. Right, now breathe! <laughs> oh, man! <clears throat> Just when the cycle ended. Uh, cycle ended. Yeah. It's like I should almost go back during another cycle and see if the coordinates will be the same or if I will have to time it so that I go to deep blue first to check the probe receive uh, receiver if I want to find the eye which is what I guess I need to do since it's older than the universe it will probably survive a supernova huh so here's what I'm thinking. They... Right, they came here. To track... To track the eye. Yeah. So it's just a picture, I guess. Um, the orbital probe can has launched millions of probes. Yeah. The 9,318,054th probe located a deep space anomaly matching all the known criteria for the eye of the universe. The statue in the probe tracking module automatically recorded each probe's trajectory and transmits the data to the Ash Twin project. I found no my coordinates marking the location of the eye of the universe. It should always be the same. Because otherwise that experiment would fail. Then each time it restarted, it would be just another send it into another unknown location, right? They'd 
want to repeat and get this cycle going to explore every possible direction. You know. Right? So, if they were to... If those things were wrong... Then, and it would reset for each one, that would be completely pointless. Their entire experiment would be completely and utterly pointless. So it can't change, it needs to be in the same destination, the sixth location. Which is always same and steady. And really far outside of the solar, the whole, this whole, everything. But so what we don't have right now... Basically... Is the Ash Twin project, but also the vessel and the, es the third escape pod. Which is freaking somewhere in here! And I hate that. I hate that I have to go in here again. Then, again, take it slow and steady. Okay. Up there, huh? Shoot. Do not want to bonk. Okay. Um, so scared. You saw them last time. Freaking two massive jaws. Yeah, into the next one. Shoot, 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 shoot. Shoot, 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 shoot. Go, go, go. Go inside. Go. Is that it? Is was that a fish? I think so. I think so. I need to go out and pre repair though. Stop. Careful. Calm down. I think that was it. At least I think so, oh my god. a piece of the vessel, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Trying to be very careful here. Careful. Oh, stop. Stop wanting to land. <gasps> there! There you are. There's something floating there.
I am holding my breath. I'm sorry if I'm not commenting a lot, but I'm scared. Right. Oof, okay. Match it, thank you. Our escape pod crashed as we tried to flee this place, destroying our movement and communication capabilities in the process. Sekka, we haven't heard about her before. Or them. Um, we held out as long as we could here, but this pod's supply of breathable air is nearly depleted and the anglerfish attack more and more frequently. Our best chance at survival is to return to the vessel to either repair the damage or, more probably, await rescue. Sekka, is this message finished? The vessel's beacon is already growing fainter. It will be gone in a matter of hours. We need to leave here quickly. Okay. Hmm. Alright. Scanning external environment scan. Complete gravity non detected. Breathable air not detected. Multiple life forms detected. Potential hostile. Verdict do not exit pods. Navigation, er navigation error. Life support error. Propulsion error. Oh my god. Multiple collisions have altered pod's trajectory. Significant damage to pods detected. Now launching escape pod. Yeah, I guess I read it the wrong way. Escape pod 3 vessel have been mortally injured. Emergency sequence activated awaiting departure from vessel. There's a new problem. Our equipment is detecting two distinct beacons from the vessel. Oh. But it isn't possible for the vessel to be in two different locations at the same time. Yeah, welcome to dark, dark, freaking thorn place. I agree, but the beacons are exactly identical to each other. Perhaps if I had more time. We're nearly out of time already, then. The vessel's beacon is quickly fading. Soon it will be gone and we will be lost. We will follow the beacon whose sources is nearest to us. But suppose that beacon is false. We likely don't have enough air to reach the farther one, uh, farther of the two beacons. Then the direction, the decision is made for us. We'll leave a trail of lights as we go. Oh, there's still a chance someone could hear our escape post distress signal. Well, I heard it. I heard it. All right. Turning myself around. Wait, I. Wanted to read. I know it's gonna say it's an emergency escape hatch, but we need to read. Well, that's what that light is. Yeah, let's go. Hope I don't die. My god, I am so freaking tense. Calm down. Calm down. Lugna ner dig, det är okej. Okay. Du kommer inte att bli uppäten av den väldigt stora fisken med vassa tänder och stor lampa på pannan. Det är okej, okay, det är okej, okay. kör. My god. Sometimes the only thing that works is Swedish, you know? I could... ...target something. Excuse? What was it that I could target something over there? Oh no! They tried, huh? To any who come here searching for us, we followed one of the two beacons from the vessel to this place, but now can go no further. It's almost too faint to hear now, but the vessel's beacon is still faintly emitting from within this thorny seed. Yet the opening is too small for even a single Nomai to fit through it, so our escape pod couldn't have flown through here. I don't understand how this could be possible, but this gruesome place seemed able to manipulate space itself. Maybe this was our undoing. To be so close to the location of the vessel and still so far away is difficult. Worse, the vessel's beacon is dying. Soon we will be unable to hear it. 
There is nothing we can do now but try to perhaps find a way inside. Or at least attempt to comprehend why this is happening. My dearest hope is that the other escape pods were able to reach relative safety. Better than yours. Look, that was a little maggot there. Yeah, they were just... That was it, huh? There. Can you stop here, please? Good. Now, where are you? There. Let's go back to the ship and try to get to... My little friend. Yeah, well... Alright, alright, calm down. Okay. That is very sad. It's really freaking cool, of course, but so freaking sad. Wait, two kilometers into the red one? That's not good, right? I don't think... Isn't the red one just exit? I guess this is where we go. Oh, look at that. That's where we saw those guys. But really? How would I... Do I just freaking book it? They're not deaf. Oh. But he's so... He's so good. Okay, so they're not always there. They're swimming around, I guess. Hmm. Okay, I can do this. I can freaking do this. So I still have to go back there and go into and find the vessel and shoot this thing through the core and... No, I mean not find the vessel. Find the escape pod. Of course. So we need to go still there. Those fishes socks. Really. They don't see me for sure, but the second I just move, they just see me right away. I don't think it helps that I'm just going close to those brambles and stuff. I think I just need to book it. But they are... they can see my... or predict my trajectory where I'm going, I guess. Do they hear all of my rockets? Oh. breathing.
feel like I hear stuff in my ear all the time. Just reacting to freaking everything right now. Definitely the scariest part is... Okay. Calm down. Oh! Sorry, sorry, sorry! Oh, that was really rude. I'm sorry. Why can't I just... there huh so am I just literally supposed to go through the red one always but come on the hell am I stuck on now I don't have time for this Dude, what? <sighs> this is silly. How did I get stuck? What am I stuck on? Okay, I think I, I think I did it. Okay, I think I got out. I sorry guys. Calm down. Don't make noise. Okay. These are just pieces of metal, I think, right? Probably from the escape pod. Probably. 